Now, the protests amid the political tensions in Bolivia are turning violent after a day after the arrest of a key opposition leader. Luis Fernando Camaco, his supporters have launched violent attacks in the city of Santa Cruz as part of a 24-hour civic strike. Protesters have attacked buildings, they burned cars and tires, blocked highways. They hurled fireworks towards the police forces. We used tear gas to try and disperse the crowd here. There's not been any response yet by the government on the latest attacks by the protesters. However, some military forces were reportedly spread throughout the city late on Thursday. Kamako, key right-wing leader of Bolivia and provincial governor, was arrested on Friday after a Bolivian judge sentenced him to four months in pre-trial detention on charges of terrorism. He has been accused of toppling the former leftist president Evo Morales in 2019. He is also under investigation for a slew of other crimes. This is the latest in the power struggle between the Bolivian government and the largest city, Santa Cruz. Santa Cruz, it's a relatively much more wealthy farming region here, and the financial tussle has long transpired into a political fight. There have been some calls for more autonomy and even independence. In October this year, protests were led by Kamako against national government's delay in carrying out Bolivia's population census. The census was expected to show population growth in Santa Cruz, resulting in more tax revenues and seats in Congress for the region. Camaco has maintained his innocence and called his arrest in transport to La Paz, the country's capital, a kidnapping. Prosecutors, on the other hand, have denied that the arrest was a kidnapping or politically motivated.